Hello everyone, I am Saiti and welcome back to my channel Saiti Korean. Today's video related to uh, do the Geo 4G Plus speed test and the download test comparison between the Mi 11X versus Poco F3 GT. Let's see which phone has got really good uh, speeds in terms of the download and in terms of the speed test. So this test completely done in the indoor environment in my studio room only using the Geo SIM card. So first thing is to check which phone supports what kind of uh, bands or what kind of 4G place I'm getting or not. That's the first thing we will be checking in my video. So first let's start with the MI Linux device. So MI Linux is using the 1800 band. So with the Geo, as you can see 1800 frequency and which which is getting the 4G plus aggregation in the MI Linux device. So no issues with the 4G plus in this phone. That's the one thing which I can definitely say. Let's move to the next is the Poco F3 GT regarding the 4G plus aggregation. Let's see first. So using the same band. So using the same frequency only we cannot get the 4G plus in this phone. As you can see friends. So in case if you want to know why you are not getting 4G plus in the POCO F3 GT, so there is a video which I uploaded. So just watch that video, you will definitely understand and it will clarify all your doubts. Just for information only, I am trying to show the video. So next is the next thing, second step is to do the download test at same time in both phones. Let's start the test without wasting any time. And both phones are connected to the same 1800 band only during this process of demonstration. And 4G plus versus 4G. Let's see which phone will be able to pick up the downloads faster. And both phones were able to start and try to observe the internet speed meter. Which phone has got what kind of speeds? Highest 1.4 and 1.4 versus 1 Mbps. So even though the Mi 11X started slightly late into the race, but still it's trying to win the race. As you can see the competition prints right now between both phones. I think 95% I think the Poco F3 GT finished. I think just a little bit, few seconds away. The Mi 11X also finished. As you can see clearly. So this is a download test just we did. So now we'll try to do the speed test comparison between both phones. So let's open the speed test application and start doing the speeds in both phones at the same time. Let's see which phone will be able to get what kind of high speeds. Yes. So I'll try to do the download test again. So don't worry friends, don't come to the conclusion right now itself. That's completely no, you should not come. As you can see the speeds, how they are in the MLNX device. This is the MLNX device with a 4G plus aggregation. And without 4G, in this 1800 frequency, these are the results. So this phone will get 4G. Don't worry. This phone will get 4G. But in this frequency, you cannot get the 4G. 4G plus. So right now you can see the difference. So 4G plus versus 4G. The speeds. How it is between both phones to 12.4 versus 7 Mbps of speeds. So now, I'll try to do the test again in both phones just for your uh, information. Let's see which phone will start and connect to the server first. The POCO F3 GT connected to the server first as you can see clearly. Not bad, 11, 10 MB I'm getting. Let's see ML 11X. ML 11X is straight away going up more than the POCO F3 GT as you can see. So slightly you will have the advantage of having the 4G place and having this kind of MI Linux device with you, you'll definitely have the advantage of having good speeds. So we did the test right now. So let's do the test individually. So individual speed test also differences few uh, few results. That is the reason I'm trying to do the test individual in both phones. So let's start first in the MI Linux device uh, individual speed test. Let's see. How much the score we can actually expect in the ML Linux device. And then I'll try to do the individual download test as well. So individual speed test and individual download test. Just to see how much high speeds we are getting in this book in this ML Linux device. And here we go. And the speeds are I think close to 10 maybe let's see 10 Mbps not bad. So 10, 11, 12, 15, 14 Mbps of speeds. As I said, if you try to do the individual test, the speed will be different. If you are doing it both at the same time, the speed will be different, friends. That is the reason. So you should watch the video completely. So 15.7 Mbps of speed. Let's see the POCO F3 GT can get that kind of speeds or not. High speeds. Let's see. I'll try to do the download test now. Let's start the test. As soon as this finish, I'll try to do the download. I'll try to click on this POCO F3 GT. I'll try to click it. As soon as this finish, yes, this is finished and let's see. I'm trying to click on this one and now we'll try to see how much speeds we are getting up. We are getting about I think close to 10 Mbps or 12, not bad, 12 and 10. So 12, 10 Mbps of speeds we are getting. 9. As you can see the speeds, differences between both phones. 
सो विथ फोर जी प्लस एंड विदाउट फोर जी प्लस जियो एटीन हंड्रेड फ्रिक्वेंसी जियो से एटीन हंड्रेड फ्रिक्वेंसी ओनली इट्स यूजिंग एंड नाउ लेट्स डू द डाउनलोड टेस्ट सो इन द स्पीड टेस्ट द एम एल एन एक्स एज वॉन द रेस सो इन द डाउनलोड टेस्ट लेट्स डू द इंडिविजुअल डाउनलोड टेस्ट सो लाइट टू गो टू द होम स्क्रीन एस एन एस दिस फिनिश सो द येस बोथ आर फिनिश एंड लेट्स गो टू द होम स्क्रीन एंड लेट मी टू ओपन द प्ले स्टोर एंड अन इंस्टॉल दिस एप्लीकेशन and i'll try to start the stopwatch as soon as it says installing not pending installing so because the pending in some phones it take lot of time so that's the reason i thought of starting the stopwatch exactly when it says installing right now try to look at the speeds 1.9 mbps of speed i'm getting on the notification bar so you can see 1.9 mbps of speeds so with the 4g plus so that is what i'm asking you to see during the time of demo finished in 16 seconds the application finished completely as you can see 16 seconds of time Let's see how much time this Poco F3 GT gonna take to do the same task. As soon as installing, I'll try to click the play, the start, yes, start option in the stopwatch, and try to observe the high speeds here. 1.3, I'm getting high speeds. 1.3 only. 1.3, 1.1. So 1.3. 894 kbps. As you can see, it decreased below 1 mbps as well. 1.2 finish 24 seconds you can see the speed how they are that is reason you should watch the video till end don't if you skip skip it the users who did skip in the beginning thinking that uh, the poco f3 gt will be winner but these were the facts are so as you can see exactly what is happening the download speeds and the speed test results are really good in the mr linux device using the geo sim card and if the geo sim card is connected to the 1800 frequency i'm trying to mention each and every small point if you miss one point th that's it so it, this test is completely done 1800 frequency band only if you try to connect different band uh, you will get the 4g plus in the poco f3 gt and the speeds will be completely different so that is the reason i'm trying to mention clearly a to z so try to understand so what is the final conclusion about this both phones which phone is best in the connectivity so in terms of the connectivity i do feel the ml linux is slightly having the advantage and the poco f3 gt cannot get the 4g plus aggregation in this geo 1800 band yes only in this 1800 1800 frequency only it cannot get the 4g plus aggregation so in rest of the frequencies like 850 and 2300 fre frequency range you can get the 4g plus aggregation as you can that's a uh, one thing you should definitely understand if you are paying the poco f3 gt so this phone supports 4g plus no issues this phone supports 4g plus but only in the 1800 band it's not supported only so that's the one thing friends other phones like ml linux and poco x3 those phones are supported with the 4g plus even the realme x and max iq7 device one plus nord other phones are supported with the same band but this poco f3 gt is not supported that's why i'm trying to inform you all So thank you for watching this video fans and I'll see you in the next video on Elon Straton for more more updates and meanwhile if you have any other queries let me know in the comment section below stay tuned friends bye